ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another accessible product alert. Now you might be noticing that this desk space here beside me is looking pretty empty. And that's because Brad and I are currently socially distancing. But thanks to technology, Brad is actually gonna be joining us via satellite. Hey bud. Hey Dan, I'm so happy to be here. Things are going good. I wish I was in studio with you but it's nice to be joining you via satellite. I'm excited to be back reviewing these life-changing adaptive products for the All Access Lifers. Today we have another exciting one for you guys. Dan, can you introduce it? Definitely, Brad, and thank you very much for that update. All right, guys, without further ado, it's time to jump into today's accessible product alert. Today we have for you a device that makes learning Braille a fun, interactive, and exciting experience for everyone. That's right, Brad. There's never been a funner way to learn Braille than with the new Taptillo 2.0. Now, Taptillo is a smart Braille education device that can transform the way Braille is taught at home or at school. And we've actually found many creative ways to use Taptillo over video conference software for students or anyone interested in learning Braille in the comfort of their homes. Now, this is especially useful given these new circumstances. So we want to give you a quick demo of this. Now, before we get into how Brad and I use the Taptilla remotely, I wanted to take a quick minute here and explain how Taptilla works. Taptilla is just over a foot long and has three main sections. The lower portion, which contains the refreshable Braille display. The upper portion, which contains nine magnetic tactile Braille blocks. And the right hand side of the device, which contains a selection and navigation buttons. These are the Braille blocks that are used to replicate what's on the lower portion's refreshable display. Inside the box, you get 10 of these Braille blocks, which means you have one extra in case one gets lost. These blocks are small, coming in at about two inches in height. They feel lightweight and very high quality at the same time. Pressing the cells up and down is also very satisfying. Now I'll very quickly take you over the first couple of letters in the alphabet. A. So I first rub my finger on the refreshable display to see what the pattern is. I then pull off the braille block to replicate what I just felt. Place the block back into position and finally press the circle button to see if I'm correct. If so, then I'll move to the next letter and I'll repeat these same steps. You can also spell short or long words on the top tilo. Drink. Go. Taptillo has many different learning modes. We won't be going into the specifics of each mode. Instead, we'll put a link in the description if you'd like some more info. Read. Trace and write. Dictation. Write. So now that you guys have a grasp on how Taptilla works, we'll show you how Brad and I used it for learning and definitely entertainment via Zoom's video conference software. On the left hand side of the screen, Brad is sharing his screen and typing by using his eyes to tell me what word he wants me to spell. When he's finished spelling the word, I would then input the word into the Taptilla app. The refreshable display then pops up the cells and Brad watches an amusement as I try, in this case, to spell his name. Once I finish the attempt, I press the circle button and we get to see if I spelled it correctly. And in this case, I did. We'd also go over the alphabet together. This was fun because I'd occasionally try to throw Brad off by plugging it in the wrong pattern. But he caught me every time by shaking his head to say no. When I plugged in the correct answer, Brad would nod his head to let me know it was correct. We wanted to show you Taptillo can be used in many different and creative ways. This was just our experience with Taptillo, but we're sure there are many different ways this could be used by educators and students remotely. One final feature I wanted to focus on was the portability of Taptillo. Since it comes with a sleek and stylish carrying case equipped with a shoulder strap, it makes it easy to take Taptillo wherever you go. 
During these last few months, I especially found this useful since we were going through this isolation period. I'd take Taptilla with me and enjoy nature while learning braille at the same time. So essentially what you guys have here is a fun and interactive device that teaches people of all ages how to read braille. Now the first time that I took Taptilla out of the box, my intentions were to just turn it on and test it out for a couple of minutes. But fast forward two hours and I had the entire alphabet and up to number 30 completely memorized. So it's definitely a very engaging device. Overall, this is one of the simplest and funnest ways to learn Braille, and we would definitely recommend it to anyone interested in learning. We put a link down below, in the description, to take you to the Tapilo website. Alright guys, that's going to conclude today's episode of Accessible Products Alert! Now if you want to tune into our future episodes of the show, be sure to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. And also hit that bell icon along with it so you guys can stay notified whenever we upload these future segments. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to tap that like button. Get it, bud? Tap, tap Tilo. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. This is Brad and Dan signing out. See you again later.